welcome to today's video and excuse my voice um <clears throat> a bit of a sore throat um in this video i'm going to explain to you the reasons why i didn't finish vlogmas and why this month's been a bit stressful um i'm not going to go into too much detail about it i'm just going to tell you the basics of why um so anyway if you follow me on instagram you could you would see that yesterday I posted a video of Raphael after he had had surgery now what had happened is there was something wrong that needed investigating so he had to go under um for them to see what was wrong um <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys to see what was wrong so in this video basically what i want to tell you is what we did to sort of plan for it what happened when he was under so that if you guys are going to have to go through what we went through hopefully this will help you in how we felt and how we dealt with what we had to deal with um so like i said he had to go under now before he went under he had to be starved um for quite a few hours so the day that he was going in he was going in at half 12 um they turned around to us and said so he had to not eat anything after half seven or have any water or juice after nine o'clock so that was the first thing that was hard because Raphael loves to eat um so doing that was difficult because he didn't quite understand why we were starving him um second thing was he did know what was happening we didn't tell him in detail but he knew like he was going to be put to sleep and that when he woke up we would be there so we told him the basics because we read a lot on what to do because we had no idea how to sort of tell him um and we told it we got told to tell him a week or so in advance and then on the day tell him again so he knew where he was going because i didn't want him to for it to be such a big shock for him to where he was going um so he knew so he he was aware of what was going to happen um but obviously not into too much detail to scare him um so we did that and the third also the other thing we did is we made sure that after that he took his favorite teddies like he's got two reindeer teddies that he absolutely loves we let him have his dummies um and he took the enderman teddy which he got for christmas so he had his comfort things there and also his nana and grandpa came with us so he were glad to have them with us um because they were another comfort thing for him to have them there sorry guys i've got a really bad cold coming on again <laughs> um also they so they so we had them um the other thing as well that we did is we tried to mask how we were worried about it um we tried not to show him it was hard because he did pick up on some of the things um but on the whole you know we were trying to be calm for the whole way there and then when we were in there we were trying to distract him with the, the toys now the hospital that we went to was a children's hospital so they had all like they had toys out for him to play so that was good as well because that distracted him um now for our hospital and this might be different in hosp other hospitals i don't know so i'm just basing it on our experience with our hospital so when we got there we arrived um i think we were an hour early anyway um but we arrived they allowed us into the little playroom and we were there from 11 half 11 till about half six at night so we were pretty much we were there a long time um so be one that if you are going in to have a local he had a not local anesthetic so if you're having that just be aware that it could be quite a long time that you were there with your child um so when we got there he they did a pre-examination to check that it was all right to go in um you know that he wasn't poorly that he hadn't been in contact with any contagious diseases or anything so he passed all of that so and then we i think even after all that we still had to wait two hours before it actually went under now for our hospital when he went under they would only allow one parent in when they were putting him under so i went in with him um and it was horrible um to see it just 
be aware that if you see it, it is going to be a bit heartbreaking for you because with Raphael, we kicked out because he didn't like it. Um, they said, they told me this was perfectly normal, that kids do kick out when they get put um, to sleep. So it was, it was hard. Um, so th that was for him being put down, put down, put under. Um, and then he came round about, I think he were away from us because once he were under we had to go out so we were away from us for about an hour and a half um we weren't when he came round they came and got us again they would only allow one of us in so i went in he were very upset very he kept telling me it hurt and things so just be aware that they are going to be very goggy after they are going to be very tearful and very cuddling clingy um <clears throat> but everything went okay without a hitch um he's fine now he doesn't have to go back in for any more operations or any more checkups it's all done and dusted now um, and now it's just a case of he's just chilling on the sofa playing with his dad on tv um and they he's just um he's, he's still not his playful little self but he's getting there that is the gist of what happened like i said i don't want to go into too much detail like i said just be warned that there are going to be bits where you're going to be quite tearful because I was, especially if it's your first child or it's the first time you've had to go through that, it's horrible. But, excuse me, we knew it had to be done. So also, I'm going to give you my top tips of what to do to prepare and to uh, make, make it easier on your, yourself for when he comes out. Now, the first thing we did, which I didn't forget to mention earlier on, is when he wasn't allowed to eat or drink, we didn't. And if we really desperately needed something to eat, we would go and hide and have something to eat. Um, just so that then it's easier because he wasn't like, well, why are you eating and I can't. So we stopped eating when he stopped eating too. Um, the other thing I would say is let if they've got a dummy that is a comfort thing, sod what everyone else says about the ages of the dummies if it's a comfort thing to them take it because they're gonna need it and i know i'm probably gonna get people telling me he's three years old and he shouldn't have a dummy but that is his comfort thing and i am not going to give a toss basically if someone says um you can't let him have it he it's his comfort thing that's what he wanted um also my other tip is for you guys is to just be prepared, ask questions if you don't understand something, you know, if you need reassurance that everything's going to be okay, when you go in for the pre-examination -ex before you go under, tell them that I am worried about this or that happening, can you, you know, and that doctor should then reassure you that everything's going to be alright. Um, my other tip as well guys is be prepared to be there for a long, long time because we were, I don't think we realised how long we would be there for. We didn't actually get back home till about half eight. Um, so, you know, it's so just be aware that it will be a long day. So don't go planning things for when he's out because they're not going to feel like it. My other tip as well is make sure you are stocked up on medicine. Um, we got given Calpo and ibuprofen when we were at hospital, but they only give you a jar each. At home, I'd already gotten some Calpo and um, Neurofen for children, and already he's gone through a whole bottle of Calpo, but I did, was using it before because he had a bit of a cough, so just be aware that you will get through the medicine quite quick, and they, like for Raphael, every four hours, um, he has to have Calpo for a week, and then every and then three times a day he has to have ibuprofen um for a week so just be aware you are going to get through a lot of medicine and they will only give you one jar of each they so that will not last you so you will need to go and get your own medicine as well um also my other tip is we decided to treat Raphael when he came round so we had got him something that he loved he is a little lord um business lego man 
um, he loved the movie and he loves the game so we bought him that and he absolutely loves it and we bought him a book as well so we spoiled him a bit but again he he's it's a horrible thing for them to go through so we decided to have some treats in now you don't have to do this if you don't want to do this for your child but we decided we were going to get some treats in for him so that he felt better um the other thing as well is we stocked up on all his favorite foods because when they when they come round and especially the day after like he's been home now it's been two days since he's had it it's wednesday today and he had the operation on monday um we found that he just he, he's not fit really eating meals so all he's doing is snacking now we've just let him snack when he wants because he just he's not i mean like last night he didn't want any dinner but he had snacked on some crisp and some fruit so just my f suggestion would be for an easier life for you guys I and mean, it's definitely been easier for us is just let them eat when they want to obviously just keep up the fluids and things um so yeah that's my top tips on what we did to help Raphael um when he had the operation and I hope you guys find this helpful and I've not babbled on too much about it um but th like I said that is the reason vlogmas sort of got cancelled and i haven't really been that regular at the beginning of this year putting videos up it's just we've had to go through all this and it has been quite a stressful time for us because we've never had to go he's our first child as you guys know and we didn't know what to expect we worried about what would happen um will he be all right so it just got a bit too much for me to then carry on doing vlogmas while i was stressing about this because i just felt the videos wouldn't have been any good so i hope you guys understand and like i said guys he is good now he's just um recovering he's like i said he he, he does tell me it still hurts a lot and we're just trying to keep him um happy and relaxed so i will also guys i will also insert a picture now of him in the hospital bed so you guys can see what he looked like so that's my video for today i hope if your kids are going in for local anesthetic you guys could get some information from this video i like i said i'm sorry if i rambled a lot i didn't know really what i wanted to say i just thought i would make it so you guys could understand where why vlogmas hadn't been completed and um also to try and give you guys some sort of um information in something that might help you guys if you were going through a similar thing and Raphael a little trooper you were really brave and I think your kids would will surprise you when they go through it how resilient they are to things so all I would say is just try and keep calm I hope this video brings some kind of comfort to you to know that it is what's happened I tried to be as truthful I've been truthful to you is it of what happened like when they go under that they start kicking their legs and it's a horrible horrible thing to watch but they do and that when they come around they're very grizzly very clingy don't want you to leave them you know and they will especially if they're three years old and they can talk they will tell you it hurts and they will tell you that constantly that it will hurt so just be aware that there are things like that, that you're gonna have to deal with but it's all being parent, isn't it? So, guys, I hope you did find this video interesting. And I'm very sorry if I've rambled a lot because I feel like I've spoken to the camera lords at the moment today. Um, yeah, so, guys, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button if you're watching this video and you're new. Um, and I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.